Let's sit back and put the world away for a minute or two. Grab a drink. Football Manager 2021. I've been playing this game, highly addicting game. I think I've been playing it for 10 or 11 years now. And I still don't know what the heck I'm doing. But I love to play it. I like to build teams, the stories it creates. You get attached to these players. I just can't believe it. These fictional players. And I find myself cheering for them and encouraging. And, or if they have attitudes like, hey, get the heck off my team, man. It's just... Maybe that's with a, a lot of games, too. But um, I, I enjoy sports and uh, the way it, uh, to me, it, uh, um, the competition is what I really like. So I'm going to do Football Manager. You probably told, you can tell from the thumbnail, there is two teams on there. There is a, uh, my local team, I live in Tucson, so I'm going to do FC Tucson. Let's get into the game here. I have it all set up. FC Tucson, they play about, they play in um, the Kino Sports Complex, just about 10 minute drive here from me. <clears throat> Here's their logo. This I'm playing on is a database that was created by uh, a gentleman named, was it FM Digi? Hope I got that right. <clears throat> um, in the uh, Steam Workshop, you can download this database. It makes it a, a pyramid structure in America which to me it's it makes it more fun and enjoyable the, the base game and in, 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 in tries to mimic the reality and MLS they just got there's so many rules and certain players can earn this much and salary caps and, and it just it makes it un, unplayable as I said to me and, and it wasn't enjoyable so I found this database and uh, he made the structure as in like England there's promotion and relegation battles and that just makes it more competitive and better talent will come through that my opinion so I am in league not I didn't start in the very very bottom the regionals which you can that's an option if you want to get this database so it starts up here and there's probably a better tree to show you guys the the pyramid of, of, uh, of leagues but here's the top league right here United States Premier League and you got the Champions League League one and then we're in League two here on the bottom we're predicted to think mid table is what I think yeah 11th and then you got the US national you got the Premier and then you got the division ones division two and you got the Northern Premier League, Central Premier League, Southern, Western, Atlantic, and he goes all the way down to like region, all the way down to the 10th tier. So you can play all the way down the smallest team you want, guys. So we're gonna stick here on FC Tucson, looks like the club info. We are an amateur team. We got to get that up because that means none of our players here are on salaries. The only guys are on salaries are our two loaners. And what is that? 1575. That's probably what our finance payroll 1537. So we're a little bit over. Yeah, just a few dollars. Currently spending 1537, committed spending 1537. Am I seeing things? This is 1575. Okay, close enough. So there's our players. Let's see, according to our assistant, this is our top players on loan from Jamaica. He's Jamaican. On loan from San Diego. Yeah, if that's um I don't know the uh, the league average here. But this is a looks like pretty good attributes to me. Let's see the second best. We'll, we'll, we'll look through the 
top five here. German Samuel Beek. Like I said, none of these guys are on contract, so that means a lot of teams just snag these players up. They offer them some money, so don't get attached to any of these players. And our third best players, that we, so we have we're top hit, we're top on uh, goalkeepers, huh? And then uh, Kevin Rodriguez, winger, got some speed on him. And then uh, what's this guy, St. Kitts? His contract is see, he's already wanted by New York Cosmos, aren't they? New York Cosmos, or I think they're in the second the champions division but good central midfielder English guy Charlie Dennis and then we got another lot so we got yeah here's our second loaner he's from Phoenix which I think is our affiliate club which let's look so we got uh, amateur status here I am No fierce rivals. I think it's dynamic, so we might um, get some. Average ticket price, 15 bucks. Average season ticket price is 149. Let's see if that is accurate. I got their website up. I was just looking at it. I forgot the price though. 225 for mid midfield and 180. So eh, yeah, pretty close. One fifth, so about thirty bucks difference, huh? So the game's got it pretty close. Fourteen home matches, so thirteen bucks per match. That's that's reasonable. All right, I can go afford that. So I'm gonna go probably go watch a a match here pretty soon, which May eighth, May eighth is their first home game against Forward Madison FC. All right. News, yep, they hired me. Facilities, Kino Sports Complex, capacity 2,000. Rent, so 10% of the gate receipts we're paying, renting that place out. Adequate corporate facilities, below average training facilities. So we gotta move all those babies up. Or eventually, in the future, and I'm seeing long term, we'll get our own stadium. Poor youth facilities, fairly basic academy coaching, basic youth recruitment. We do have an academy, so we can send players down on loan. The terms of this deal will prevent FC Tucson Academy from playing the same division. So I guess they can get promoted up until they reach our division and they gotta stay one division below us. No annual fee, we don't pay them. Phoenix is our senior. Okay, so we can, um, I'll look at their team and see if we can loan any other good players out. Well, any ones that they have loan listed, which would be good for us, help us out. Playing the same division will terminate the link. Okay. Got a couple uh, trophies in the lower divisions. All right, so the tactics. The rest of the squad, I'm going to go ahead and do some transfers, sign some players, um, which I think uh, the transfer window is open till another, till August, August 29th. So I'm going to go ahead and sign some players, and that's going to dictate on who I sign, what tactic I play. I usually like to play wing play, vertical tiki taka, one of those, but we'll see. Um, and then I'll set all the set pieces up and stuff. Dynamics, let's see, nobody likes me. There's already two that don't like me. Oppose me, you. Your, what, your reputation is quite low in relation to your players, so that might cause a little trouble. I put my guy pretty low. I have him high on fitness, so I can train the fitness. Um, I should be doing the fitness. That's goalkeeping. Yeah, I'm doing the fitness. Three stars, three stars. I'll sign some goal, or uh, let's see. 
Do I need any staff? We got an assistant coach. Um, looks like we have no scouts, so I'll sign a scout and I'll sign, looks like a physio, we need a physio. The goal with this team is to get up to, obviously go up the league to League One, Champions, and then the United States Premier win the Premier League and also win, there's a, there's a cup competition, see North America, the most reputable one here in North America, it's just gonna be this North American Champions League, which is, in the real world, it's the CONCACAF, but this one here, it's North American, the Champions League. And you see the past winners, what, they're all, Mexico dominates us. So, we gotta turn that around, let's go. We're gonna bring Tucson all the way up, baby. Finances, I got 32,000 in there. So we should be okay. We're only paying 1537. I can't do the math, but I know there's a bunch of other expenditures and stuff too that go on. There's uh, all the staff for the ground maintenance and all this and that. So, and eh, we're probably gonna be projection in depth here, 107,000. So we know what that means. We gotta get W's, W's, W, W. W's, the more W's, the better. That will bring more fans in. All right, that's all I think I gotta say about the Tucson right now. And then the other team. So yeah, I'll go and play like the friendlies. I'll come back and we'll play like the, uh, I'll show you the transfers I made, the tactics, and we'll probably Probably play at least the one game here, Philly Academy. And how I want to do it, then I'll go offline, we'll play a few, come back and play like two games. That's how I think I want the um, the videos to go. Let's look at our dev center. Our squad under 23s. Oh yeah, see, there's already some guys out, I'll just move up. Um, through the uh, preseason, the friendlies, and then I can move them always back down. But yeah, there's a, there's some full backs that look like we were short on. Let's bring them up. That's all the three stars. And then under 18s, we got any potential guys? Look at this, Dan Hudson. It's only 15. Good teamwork guy. And he's got some speed. Looking to be a striker. Gotta get that finishing up, buddy. And the training and all that you can you can do mentoring and you can and it'll it'll help some of these players to develop better but our like i said our training facilities kind of <laughs> training is below average and youth is it poor who's wanted so this guy probably won't be here a lot of these players won't be here and there'll be a lot of coming in and out right now since we're an amateur squad. All right, that's Tucson, what I wanna say on that for right now. And let's move on to my national team, the Philippines. Why the Philippines? Because I've been there a few times, probably about a dozen times in my life. I always had a great time sitting, sitting on the beach, having a San Miguel, watching the beautiful ladies run by. hopefully get there whenever we can get there still can't fly there so let's see world ranking 121 let's try to get them up high as we can let's see they're, they're top players let's just look I never done a national team as I said I'm not sure how to do the staff Staff search. Oh yeah, look, we got some free agents. I'll just put, because there's no way to put uh, an advert. On the other, like on the Tucson, I'll just put an advert out and uh, in a couple weeks they'll be in the inbox saying, hey, this guy wants, you know, this this coaching job has responded to the advert. See their schedule right now? See, not till September. So maybe we'll, we'll play some more friendlies get 
get to know the, the national pool database. September. See, we don't have a real a real competition until not till shoot a year and a half from now. That might change. I'm not sure. Maybe some things will get scheduled. But look, there's a national pool. This guy probably can be called up. I can't see his. I can put him on like that. I see the B team, which there's nobody on. Put him on the B team. And then until we can see the attributes, because right now I can't see the ones that aren't called up. And I guess there's other coaches. I can delegate the under 19s, the under 21s. We got any coming up? Under 23s. One guy does got a three star potential. So we got to develop these youngsters. Come on, Philippines. Show me some of your talents. I know that you guys got it. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, I was looking at. Uh, I think I got his uh, the wiki up here. This gentleman here, here it is. Yeah, Paulino Alcantara. I hope I said that right. Was a Filipino and Spanish football player. Yeah, he was born in the Philippines, right here, Ilo Ilo, Philippines, 1896, which was still Spanish rule, right until 1898. So, but he was born Ilo Ilo. He's Filipino. Check this out. Alcantara made his debut for Barcelona at the age of 15 and remains the youngest player to play or score for the club. He scored 369 goals and 357 official and friendly matches for Barcelona, a club record that stood for 87 years. Uh, Messi broke that, I'm sure, right, a couple years ago. After retiring as a player in 1927 at the age of 31, he became a doctor. He served as a club director between 1931 and 1934. 1951, Alcantara became a coach and managed Spain for three games. Awesome. Pretty cool. I read some of his history. I was a... Uh, um, I went, went, went back to uh, the Philippines and then he went back with his family. Then the club was like begging him, sending him letters, please come back. So then he returned back to Spain and played for Barcelona and helped him out again. Where is that? There's a story here. Yeah, on April 13th, 1919, in a game at Les Courts against Rio Sociedad, Alcantara scored the police goal when a policeman got in the way of a powerful shot. What is a policeman doing out in the middle of the pitch? So both, so both the, the ball and the policeman ended up in the back of the net. Yeah, get out of the way, policeman. What are you doing? He also was nicknamed El Rompe Reyes. Hope I said that right. The net breaker. After he broke the net with a shot during the match against France. So <clears throat> this is all confirming what I've seen on some YouTube videos, good documentaries and tributes to this gentleman. Um, how powerful his shot was. Here's the Philippines League. They got six teams currently. I read somewhere they're supposed to be adding two more, but as you can see, the football, Philippines Football League season is getting ready to start, well, July. So what is it right now? Into March? So three, four, less than four months away. So let's do it. Let's go Philippines. Let's get them higher up in the uh, the ranking. Better than 121. We can do that. Let's look at the squad though. The highest ability right now player I think is Neil Etheridge, right? He played in the uh, Premier League for Cardiff, I believe, right? Yep, yep. 38 games. Birmingham right now. 
where was he? He started in Fulham. He didn't play. Loaned out a few times. Fulham, they held on to him. They had him from 06 to all the way to 13. And Oldham got him on a free. Played for Walsall for a while there. Carter for a while. All right. So yeah, there's uh, there's Neil Etheridge, Stephen Schrock. He plays in the yeah he plays for United City. I was reading on the Filipino website. He's just signed actually again. Uh, he's in the Philippines. He's German born. And if I not click the buttons, yeah. Sch oh, Schwein Schweinfurt, Germany. Declared for the Philippines. So he's going to play wow, both sides here. Is he both footed? He says right footed, but very strong, reasonable on the left foot. Okay. Yep, he's got some good determined work rate, hard worker, looks like. Fast. Good long throws. He's 33. He's getting up there. 40 caps. Here's a young guy, 24 year old right back, John Patrick. Mr. Defense Guy. 32 year old striker, Javier Patino. All right, looks pretty good. Where's that? Does he play? Oh, it's Thailand. And then Daisuke Sato sounds Japanese. Left back, pretty fast guy. Gotta look now. Other Japanese, yeah, he's probably born and declared for the Philippines. That's all we care about, though, baby. So we got some. There's a 25 year old Mike. I've I've heard of this guy. Man, he can play. I like these kind of guys. Can play everywhere. This guy named Kike, Kike, striker, Lincoln. Oh, he's a Gibraltar. Gibraltar. Thirteen appearances, fifteen goals. That's pretty damn good. All right, so let's go, PI. We got not much in the. Uh, in the pipeline here for youngsters coming up, but hopefully that'll change. Three star, maybe. 22 year old. Where is he playing? He's in Germany. There's a lot of German connection here. Uh. Yep, they're at the stick through me through thick and thin. You can see I have this pencil, which is the editor button. You guys always oh, cheating. I'm not going to edit any teams or any players or. Um, I'm only going to edit if I get, uh, I can't get fired. Well, I got to keep up with the Philippines. That's what we're going to, that's what we're trying to do on this, uh, on this save. I want to get these guys, see how high we can get them up in the rankings and what, and what players get inspired and what youngsters come up through the Philippines as the save here goes on. So that's it. I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to, Let's see the national pool. I'll sign whatever guys I think can come in and make this national team better. Um, I'll put some more maybe friendlies on here. Because right now it looks pretty boring. I mean, you don't got anything competitive until a year and a half. And maybe sign some, uh, we'll see how the staff looks. Um, delegate a lot of responsibilities, I do like the media and stuff, I don't do all that. The, the, the new signees and I'm a delegator. So right now I'm, I'm doing everything. Under 23s, yeah, I can, someone else can do all that stuff. And if they're not doing good though, I'll have to take control. All right, so that's my, that's both my teams, that's the plan. And uh, hopefully I can make this entertaining for you guys. I like to watch this. So I'm going to go in and play and uh, sign some guys and see what I can do to 
probably screw everything up. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I was going to say, but there is no watchers. I got zero people watching. So give me whatever you choose, a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I don't care if it's a dumb thumbs down, a dumb thumbs down either. <laughs> I don't care if I'm disliked. All right. Words of wisdom for today will be, if you're going through hell, keep going. <laughs>